Ever wonder where decadent and delicious chocolate comes from? Just look at the beans of the tropical cacao tree, which grow inside leathery pods. Notice when the pods are cut down, the beans are a purple color, although they can be yellow and reddish too. Mmm, let's just take a nibble, huh? Yuck! Talk about bitter. These beans need work, but that takes time and bacteria. After a few days, natural bacteria act on the beans, giving them a rich brown color and a distinct chocolatey aroma. Now it's off to roast the beans to improve their flavor. The nib, or the soft meat of the chocolate, contains about 50% cocoa butter and is the basis for all of our favorite chocolate products. But first, it has to be crushed. During the crushing process, heat and friction create a smooth, dark brown liquid or unsweetened chocolate. That liquid can also be filtered, dried, and ground into cocoa powder. But we chocoholics know something is still missing, sugar. And if it's milk chocolate, we also need to add milk. Then the mixture is heated to reduce any large fat crystals to give chocolate its final velvety texture. Mmm, now that's a treat. This has been presented by Bayer Corporation's National Science Education Program, Making Science Make Sense.